It only took a few months, but more than $2 trillion in crypto wealth was wiped out. We're talking wreckage that was far and wide here. Yeah, we got the billionaires on one side, but we got everyday people who lost their life savings. We saw currencies collapse. There were mass layoffs at companies, and some of these companies were once valued at billions of dollars, declared bankruptcy. So what happened? Well, there was the collapse of this so-called algorithmic stablecoin, and what that did is it set off this chain reaction that brought one of the best known crypto hedge funds to its knees. We gotta go back to May to understand what really happened here. The collapse of Terra USD. This is an algorithmic stablecoin, and it once topped the charts. Now, it, it's not exactly clear what set off the slump in demand for UST, but then we saw this death spiral, and it knocked UST off its $1 peg. Think about this as like the crypto equivalent of a bank run. At the same time, crypto had been falling in price since the end of last year, but then as Terra was melting down, the panic started to spread and it dropped the price of Bitcoin by nearly 30% in just a week. The problem is that lenders were using Bitcoin for collateral and that just led to carnage across the industry. Take Three Arrows Capital. It was this previously invincible hedge fund. It once managed as much as $10 billion and it declared bankruptcy. This was just a mess, but it's a mess that we've got to make sense of and we've got to understand. A $60 billion collapse of an ecosystem that led to a massive decline in the price of Bitcoin and then the outright collapse of companies. It was contagion, but it was contagion that raises really important questions. What's the collateral damage to an industry after an event like this? And perhaps most importantly, have people just lost faith in crypto?